A nonprofit is giving incarcerated parents a second chance at connecting with their children, and it's through reading. Volunteers with the Storybook Project travel to different men's and women's prisons prisons in Arkansas with children's books. The inmates are able to record themselves saying a little message and reading a book to their child. Then the book and the recording are sent to the child. Our Haley Brooks has more on the Storybook Project. Determined to find someone to play with, Gregory put on another disguise. Can I play with you? He asked the rhinos. I kind of think that reading to your kids is one of the most, you know, basic parental functions <laughs> there is, but it's just something that's denied to so many people. From cover to cover, the storybook project is allowing parents to build that connection. Chapter one, vacation is finally here. Prisons were just not uh, made for children and so often children have very little opportunity to visit their parents and so this is a way for, for those families to stay connected. Uh, and just because we're in prison locked away doesn't mean that we don't think about them. Right now the program is in Newport, Wrightsville and the Pulaski County Jail. Since the beginning of the prison outreach program nearly 8,000 inmates have recorded stories reaching more than 12,000 kids. For the children too just having a permanent peace of mom or dad you know telling them that, that they love them and miss them and they're thinking about them um, can bring so much joy and comfort um, and encouragement. I want you guys to kind of keep back and imagine I'm there with you. Chai says a majority of the book recipients are kids. Today I chose Tangled because it's about a beautiful girl and she's a princess and my daughter is my princess. But that's not always the case. I had a dad read a, a baby book to his 17-year-old daughter because he wasn't there when she was born. We've had people read to their um, grandparents, their 90-something-year-old grandparents who have dementia, but who would just love to hear their voice again. That was our Haley Brooks reporting. The storybook organization says studies show inmates who remain connected with their families have a better chance of a happy ending and staying out of prison once they return to society.